Welcome everyone to another Fallout 76 nuking experiment. Previously we nuked the one violent night event that can spawn at the Sons of Dane compound and unfortunately it wasn't as good as most of us was thinking it was going to be. A lot of us thought that there were going to be tons of glowing ones because there are tons of feral ghouls that spawn at this event because we had to make ruckus to lure the Night Stalker. But there were only a few glowing ones that showed up. Maybe like a total of eight or so. I will say though they were all crowned so they gave us more items than usual. And as for the Night Stalker itself, it it didn't change whatsoever unfortunately it would have been pretty cool if it was beefed up a little bit in the nuke zone but no uh unfortunately nothing happened in this nuking experiment however we're going to be hitting over at camp adams because of the new event that was just recently added in with this pioneer scout update in case you didn't know over here at this location there is a new event called campfire tales and within this event this robot tells us some stories and then we have to do some objectives for the robots and as we're doing objectives we're swarmed by a bunch of insects and at the very end we encounter this new unique wendigo that's dressed up like a scout this is awesome we got the imposter sheep squatch, the actual real sheep squatch, and now this unique Wendigo scout. Which, by the way, you can learn a little bit about this unique Wendigo if you listen to the dialogue the robot says within this event. As you can see, this unique level 22 Wendigo is also named Camp Counselor Nia. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens when we nuke this location when this Campfire Tales event is going on. Let's see if Nia scales up any in level. As you can see, she's level 22 at the moment. And if we get a lot of glowing insects or not. Because as we just tested with one violent night, we didn't get as many glowing ones as we do feral ghouls just coming to that event regularly. It was odd. So yeah, let's go ahead and see what happens with this one. It's at least worth a shot to see what happens. Okay, so the first time that we nuked this event, we learned that there were tons of glowing insects, as expected, because there are tons of waves of insects that are at this event. We also learned that they can contain glowing mass, hardened mass, ionized meat, glowing blood, all that good stuff. So this event is great for that because there are so many insects that come here. The highest level though is going to be a 42, so it isn't really all that difficult with level wise. I will mention right by this place though, at the Nuka Cola factory, we went down there after we checked at this place, and there were loads of glowing ones down there. Loads. So yeah, this place is definitely worth it to nuke, I will mention. However, we did fail the first time we nuked this place, as you can see. And we didn't get to see whether or not Camp Council or Nia scaled up. So because of that, I'm gonna go ahead and try this again. Let's see what happens this time. Fingers crossed, she actually scales up. Okay, so the second time we nuked the Campfire Tales event, we had another interesting experience. We got loads of glowing insects to take on, which had loads of important ingredients that we needed to gather. However, this time for some reason, we didn't encounter the special Wendigo whatsoever. We did complete the event this time, but we still didn't get to see Camp Counselor Nia. Which was disappointing because one of the things that I want to figure out during these experiments is if this unique Wendigo scales up or not. So I'm going to go ahead and nuke it one more final time. Hopefully third time's a charm and we can figure out if Nia scales up. Let's do this. Should exit the launch tube immediately. 
Okay, so I'll be completely honest, I did not feel like doing this again, but I have to say it was well worth it because this one, we figured out that she actually does scale up. She scales up 20 levels from her regular level at 22. She can reach all the way up to 42, which, hey, I mean, it isn't like incredibly high, but at least we figured out that she can scale up when in a nuke zone. So awesome, we actually now know that if you do nuke this area, you're also going to be having a little tougher Wendigo fight at the end too. It seems just not every time you're going to get this. I will mention, once again, this place is great to nuke just because, for one, all these glowing insects that come here, and also you get that unique Wendigo to fight, as well as unique rewards from completing this event. Also, the Nuka-Cola factory is nearby that contains loads of glowing ones, as well as the Poseidon power plant, which also has tons of enemies. So overall, is this place worth it to nuke? Absolutely, this spot is now one of the best locations to nuke. It's not the best, but it's up there for sure. I'm out of here though, everybody. Thanks for taking the time to watch and listen, and hope you found this experiment enjoyable. If you did, consider taking a little bit of your time and leaving a like. That's always greatly appreciated and helps the series out a lot. And hey, if you want, consider sticking around my channel by subscribing for more future Fallout 76 content. As always though, that's totally up to you. Until next time, everyone. Peace.